In discussing principled leadership, Dr. John Allison discusses the benefits of lifelong learning and the components of being a disciplined learner, including focus and commitment. What I challenge you to do is to be a disciplined thinker, to commit yourself to lifelong learning and to having a very active mind. And the goal is to become a master of whatever field of endeavor you choose, to be really good at what you do. And, and if you look at people that have achieved mastery, that are really good at what they do, they commit themselves to lifeline, a lifetime learning with a very active mind. They read more, they go to educational experiences, but they're particularly effective at learning from life experiences. We are primarily life experience learners. And if you look at people that effectively learn better from their lives, they do two simple but profound things well. First, probably everybody in here can associate with learning from your mistakes. You probably made mistakes that have changed your life. But here's what's interesting. A lot of times we don't learn from our mistakes, do we? We get to do them over and over again. Probably have things embedded in your personality and you do it and say, ooh, I did that before, I wish I hadn't done it again. And we do it over and over again. Why do we not always learn from our mistakes? In order to learn from our mistakes, we must first uh, have the courage to admit why we made the mistake. And sometimes we're guilty of that ultimate psychological sin, which is evasion. And when we evade, we can't learn. Lifetime committed learners that become masters of their field of endeavor learn faster because they have the courage to really learn from their mistakes. The second thing that superior experiential learners do is recognize that life is a constant education if you choose to make it one. You know, when I was CEO of BBTV, unfortunately, many people live most of their lives out of focus. And when you're out of focus, you cannot learn, you cannot grow. Um, there's a simple observation about human nature. We absolutely do have free will. We have to make choices. The self-evidency of free will is a set of choices that you've been making that absolutely you, only you can make. You've been making them since you were very young and you literally make them every few seconds. And that choice is to focus your mind or not. To be here or not. During this presentation, some of you will be here, a few of you won't be here. Nobody will be here all the time. But you do choose when you stay in focus. In a presentation like this, you ought to be here. On Friday night, maybe you get to go out of focus. That's, that's a choice you, you choose to make. But when you're out of focus, you cannot learn, you cannot grow. During this presentation, I will say something that you don't want to hear. And one way we evade is we go out of focus. Superior experiential learners stay in focus and learn a lot more rapidly than other people. Maybe IQ matters, what I've observed in successful people. They evade less and they stay in focus more, which is a huge competitive advantage in life. Mm -hmm.